Hello, everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we'll learn about how to detect a loop in the linked list. I hope before coming to this lecture, you have already seen my earlier video of uh, finding the middle element in the linked list, wherein I have started with the concept of using the two pointers, rabbit and the turtle, wherein the turtle pointer was moving slow and the rabbit pointer was moving fast. So let's learn how to detect the loop in the linked list. Here is just an insight of what we discussed on the last uh, video in, in the middle element, wherein we have taken a turtle pointer that was moving one step and the rabbit was moving two steps. And once the rabbit reaches to the final race or rabbit wins the final race, wherever the turtle has reached, that actually is the middle element in the linked list. Here we have seen that uh, the rabbit may either become null or rabbit may reach to the last node. Both are the terminating condition for finding out the middle element. Now let's move to uh, finding the finding the loop in the linked list. Let's say I have a linked list of kind. And the address of the node number eight or the next address of uh, or next address field of the next node number eight is containing the address of node number four. Here you can see that we have not made the boxes to represent the uh, linked list. In case I'm just uh, making it short, and you must be understanding that the linked list node is containing the two fields, one of which is the information, and the other one is the address of the next node. Now, uh, to understand the how the uh, how to find the loop in the linked list, let's uh, consider a scenario wherein there is a circular track. And uh, on the circular track, there are two people who are running. So uh, one person is running at a slower speed and another person is uh, running at a faster speed. So uh, whenever the, the, the faster person takes a round, there is a possibility that the person who is uh, moving slow or running slow will meet it somewhere in, in between. So with the same concept or with the, the same logic, we'll be using the turtle and the rabbit here. Herein we are assuming that the turtle has started its race from the first node and the rabbit has started from the second node. And uh, we say that the turtle moves one step ahead and the rabbit moves two steps. And then again, the turtle makes one step and the rabbit makes two steps. Again, turtle makes one step and the rabbit moves two steps. In the one step, it goes to eight and the another step, it reaches to this node. And since the turtle and the rabbit are pointing to the same location, it means that we have found a loop in the linked list. We can take another example to understand this. Let's say we have seven nodes in the linked list and the address of uh, next address field of the seven node is containing the address of node number five. Let's take a turtle and the rabbit. Turtle starts its race from one and the rabbit starts from two. Turtle reaches to node number two. Rabbit reaches to node number four. Turtle reaches to node number three and the rabbit reaches to node number six. Turtle reaches to node number four and the rabbit reaches to node number five. You can see that six to seven and then seven to five. Then again, turtle reaches to node number uh, five and the rabbit reaches to node number seven. Why node number seven? Because from five to seven, these are the two steps that it has made. Turtle reaches to node number six and the rabbit reaches to seven to five and then five to six. Now in this case, both the turtle and the rabbit are pointing to the same location, meaning that we have de detected the loop. Now, this is the case uh, uh, where the loop is existing in the linked list. There may be a condition where the loop does not exist in the linked list as well. So for that case, let's say there is a linked list one, two, three, four, and five, and the next address field of the last node is null. In this case, if I make a turtle to point at the first node and the rabbit to second node, when turtle takes one step, the rabbit takes two steps. When turtle takes one step, the rabbit takes two steps. In the words, in the first move, it reaches to the last node, and in the second move, it becomes null. So the moment R becomes null, I'll say that uh, my linked list does not contain a cycle. A case where uh, the linked list contains the even number of the nodes and it does not contain a cycle, something like this. So turtle is here and the rabbit is here. Turtle moves one step and the rabbit moves two steps to reach to the last node. And since rabbit has moved to the last node, which has a next address field as null, 
it means that this uh, interleaving list may not contain a cycle. So these are the terminating conditions here. There are two terminating conditions, wherein if R has become null or R dot next has become null, the loop will not be existing in the linked list. Another terminating condition is if uh, R and T have a match or they reach to the same node, it means that there is a loop in the linked list. So let me write the algorithm for the same. It will be a very simple algorithm. So here is a algorithm finding loop. And let's say S is the address of the first node here in the linked list. We have initialized the turtle to point to the first node and the rabbit to point to the second node. S dot next will be the address of the second node in the linked list. And then uh, the, the loop will go, uh, or there may be a condition or terminating condition that uh, my linked list is not null or Now my terminating condition for this may be that the loop does not contain its uh, cycle. So uh, while R is not null and R dot next is not null, it means uh, that if R is null or R dot next is null, in that case, my link list will be not, my, my, my link list may not be containing the cycle. So the answer of this finding loop may be uh, printing a true or the false. And uh, let's say uh, my, movement is like this that the t moves one step ahead and the r moves two steps so r equals to r dot next and again r equals to r dot next so rabbit is moving one step and the uh, rabbit is moving two steps and the turtle is moving two steps after moving this if uh, the uh, if if t and r are becoming equal then we'll say that uh, we don't have to move further and we have to break here and say that uh, the loop exists in this link list. So if t is equals to r, in that case, I will be returning one. And returning one means the cycle has been found. Otherwise, this loop will continue. And if r becomes null or r dot next becomes null, uh, we come out of the loop with this condition that R has become null or R dot next has become null. It means that loop will not be there in the link list. Cycle will not be there in the link list. So I can say that I can return zero once the loop finishes. If there is a if there is a loop in the in the in the link list, I'll be returning this from here. If there is no link no loop, I'll be returning from here when the loop will terminate. So now uh, since we have discussed about uh, the algorithm for the same, let's now move to the code part. Here is simple code that we have designed for uh, finding the middle element in the linked list, wherein I have created a linked list that contains eight nodes. Let's say that uh, the uh, next field of node number eight contains the address of node number four. So for this, I need to find out uh, the uh, address of uh, node number eight and address of node number one also. So uh, what we can do that uh, we can simply start a traversal from the first node and let's see where we will stop. We'll stop at the node containing information four. So while p dot info is not equal to So in this link list, we are going to find out the address of uh, the node number four, and then I'll be finding the address of the node number eight. And uh, accordingly, uh, I will uh, make the next address field of node number eight to point at the address of node containing value four. So this is the traversal, wherein uh, by the time the information of the node is not four, I'll be moving ahead to the next node. Now, uh, once I have reached to the node containing value five, I'm just uh, moving another, maybe making another traversal, wherein I'll be reaching to the node containing information eight. 
So let's say uh, this traversal is made with the help of the pointer Q. And uh, once I have the address of the P and the Q, I'll say that the next field of uh, node number Q or node having address Q will be P or the Q will be pointing to the node containing the information for. Now, once this is made, we are uh, going to call a function find loop. And in the find loop, I'm passing the address of the first node. This find loop function will either return a true or the false. Let's say I accept this in the L. And here is a simple statement that checks if L is equals to one, then a loop exists. Otherwise, the loop does not exist. Okay, so let's write the find loop function. The find loop function will be returning an integer value, either one or zero. And the address of the first node is passed here. So we need uh, the turtle and the rabbit pointers here. So initialization, turtle points to the first node in the linked list. and the rabbit points to the second node in the linked list. And while rabbit is not equal to, or you can say that uh, when uh, the loop is not there in the linked list, R will become null or R dot next will become null. So if both the conditions are untrue, it means not true, we'll be moving to the next positions. So T points to the next node. And R also points to the two nodes ahead. After this, I will have to apply a check. If uh, T becomes equal to R, it means that the loop exists in the loop uh, in this link list. So return one. Otherwise, the loop will continue and uh, when we come out of the loop with the r equals to null or r dot next equals to null, meaning that the loop does not exist in the linked list. So after doing so, let's move to the main function. We have made use of uh, the two pointers, p and q here. So let's uh, define them. Both will be the pointers and the integer L, which is actually detecting if there is a loop in the link list or not. So let me run this. So here we have run this loop, this program, and uh, in this program, here you can see that the statement which has got printed is loop exists in the linked list. So we can make uh, uh, the linked list which does not contain a loop. Let's test for that as well. So uh, if a loop does not exist, the things will be like. All these statements will be ineffective. And uh, the next address field of uh, the last node is null in this case. So obviously there will be no loop in this case. Let's see. Yes, no loop exists in the link list. So uh, I think you must have understood the concept of how do we find out the loops in the link list with the rabbit and the turtle pointers. 
you can extend this further for uh, finding out uh, what is the length of the loop and what is the starting point of the loop. So in the next lectures, we'll see both of these. Thank you.